Hello there ladies and gentlemen, Moltrap here and I'm going to be doing a little bit of a uh, test slash explanation video, um, not a commentary, and I'm going to be basically, there was a couple comments on one of my videos asking about uh, mischance going uphill and I could have sworn I read somewhere that it was a 30% mischance firing uphill, um, but then I uh, read in the comments, someone read on Liquipedia and I checked this as well as on Liquipedia that it was a 50% mischance, so I thought I'll just do a test and find out for myself just to double check, uh, and then you know it'll be very, it'll be, we'll have some evidence for people to watch too if they really um, care that much. Now while I was setting these tests up and doing some preliminary tests because yes, it didn't work a couple times, um, <clears throat> I mean I kept messing up the tests, on, so this is like my fourth recording or something. Uh, anyway, I did notice a couple other fun little mechanics that I thought I'd point out first since the test is probably going to take a, a minute or two so I just point out these Make mechanics first just just as kind of little curiosities um, first of all if you've got a low ground like this and you're firing uphill from a low ground that is not that big there is no mischance every shot is hitting uh, from the low ground to the high ground on this little mini low ground thing um, so whenever you have a, a map that has this kind of mini low ground, uh, I don't know what, what else to call it, the, uh, the high ground that isn't actually that high up, it doesn't actually uh, have the mischance, it's, it's just a tactical mechanic, but it's not a, actually a, a big thing, so anyway, so that's kind of interesting, also I was noticing something interesting about targeting, if you've got your unit here, <coughs> and uh, you target another unit, the first thing that the unit will do apparently is try to get a, a try to map out a route to that unit so in other words it, even though this tank could move right here and attack this dragoon if I attack that dragoon it's a little bit out of range it's actually gonna go along the ground and try and get to that dragoon along the ground Absolutely. in order to attack it so that's kind of interesting they don't automatically go to a position where they'll attack uphill and that's actually you know why you see people they'll move in their dragoons close to the to the ramp uh, you know, or close to the ledge uh, manually, and then yes, you know, do that. Now, here's an interesting thing, though, is if you do that, uh, and the unit goes through an area where it comes within range of the unit it's attacking, it was it was not going to this spot to attack uphill, but as, since it went through a spot where it was within range, it still decided to stop there and attack. So that's just kind of an interesting little thing that uh, I found out there. Also, I was going to, um, where's the goo? Goo, come on, blue goo! Blue goo! There we go. Uh, another interesting thing I found out is I, I know that there also, there's also a mischance of things that are underneath these um, little map artifacts. You can barely see my little hidden dragoon back there. And um, uh, I wanted to test to see if that was the same as well. And I found out that some map artifacts don't have any mischance at all. Um, it's only certain map artifacts that have a mischance. So um, not every map uh, thing like these little trees is actually going to give a mischance. Although sometimes they're going to be cool just to, you know, hide your units that you can actually hide them. Just the other day I saw a player put a lurker underneath a tree so that when they scanned they would obviously be able to see the lurker but the lurker was actually underneath the tree so they still couldn't see it um, physically. They were detecting it. Their units could have attacked it but he was just checking to see if there was any lurkers in the field so that's kind of clever. Anyway, so um, they can be actually handy. See the dragoons, very hard to see. I had a DT behind there earlier and he was pretty much invisible. Well, don't think about that too much. Um, anyway, so that's just kind of an interesting thing, thing that I noted. I don't know which which map artifacts actually do give that kind of cover, but uh, it's not all of them apparently. Which I thought it was all of them that would be physically covering it. Anyway, so on to the test. What I'm going to do is I counted um, before this, and I found out that it takes exactly 15 shots from a tank to kill an ultralisk. And so what I'm just going to do is count the misses. Um, before the ultralisk dies, and that way I'll have a ratio of 15 to however many misses there were, and that will be, you know, that will be my count of how many, uh, of you know, what the ratio is. So, or how many misses occurred compared to the amount of hits that occurred. Okay, so, um, yeah, and I'm just going to keep track of myself here by 
bringing up the message box and then just typing, you know, letters or something like that. I'll go A, B, A, B or something, um, just as a way of counting the misses. So I don't have to count out loud while I'm concentrating on whether or not the hit points went down on the ultralisk. So anyways, um, without further ado, I'm going to get started. This might take a few minutes, so if you want to just skip ahead then to the last minute of the video and see what happened, that's fine. But this way you can all see and follow along if you really care to. Okay, so here we go. Okay, miss, hit, 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 miss, Hit, miss, hit, miss, hit, hit, miss, hit, miss, miss, hit, miss. I'm just going to interrupt myself here because this actually took a long time and I want the video to be under the 11 minute mark so it's just one video on YouTube. So. I'm just going to move on after this one. Green so I can see it. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, I think, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we got 10 misses on that one. So we got 15 hits to 10 hits. for our first round. Hit. And, oh, that was a miss, sorry. That was a hit. That was a hit, I think. Hit. Miss. Hit, miss, hit, oops, there's a miss, and a miss, and a dead. Okay, and we'll count this up now. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Hit, miss, hit. And let's count these up. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Whoa, jeez. 15 hits to 20 misses. And hit and a miss. And a hit. And a miss. And one last hit. So this time we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we got 13 misses. All right, so I think that's enough for now. Not exhaustive, but it's enough for a decent sample. We got we got one, two, three, four, five ultralisks at 15 hits. Each is 30, 60, 75. Oh, my pen's running out of, oh, no, it's not running out of ink. 75 and uh, we got, let's count up the misses, we got 13, 23, 33, 36, 46, 56, 66, and uh, that's a 9, plus the 66 is 69, so, holy crap. <laughs> well, we just ended up with exactly 75 hits and 75 misses total over the course of yes, that sir. test. So uh, I think we can safely say that uh, it's a 50% miss chance uphill. So uh, I every time that I've said that I think it was a 70% miss chance or a 70% 30% miss chance, I was completely wrong and I apologize. So um, yeah, hopefully this was edifying for someone or Go something. And, uh, yeah, I did a couple other videos like this, too, with a Reaver and an Archon who would win between those, and... Boom! There we go. The nuclear bomb does not need vision or anything. Oh, I think the nuclear bomb actually dropped on the low ground, but still hit the high ground. Interesting. Actually, it doesn't matter. I don't think the nuke matters at all. Anyway, um, yeah, so, 50% mischance up a hill unless it's a small hill and trees are still unverified as to what they do depending on what trees they're probably I think they're the same mischance though 50% mischance under artifacts that have a mischance so uh, yeah all right that's it take care